Hey guys, so today I'm here with a first impression. I haven't done one in a little bit, so I decided to go ahead and do it on this product I've been wanting to try. It's the new Garnier BB Cream for oily skin. Now, I tried the original one a long time ago when I first started my channel and it wasn't for me. I didn't like it, so I was really weary about this one, but everyone's been raving about it. A lot of you guys have been asking me about it, so I figured I would give it a try. I got the color Medium Deep. I believe it comes in Light Medium, Medium Deep, and there might be some other colors. I'm not really sure. I think there might be a deeper one. But I got Medium Deep. This one might be too dark for me, but the light to medium was too light because I swatched it on my hand, and it made me look kind of ashy, so I'd rather go a little bit darker. Um, my face is always lighter than my skin because I do not tan my face, even when I'm at the pool. I always have a hat on. I just don't like to tan my face. So what this claims to do is instantly control shine, minimize pores, even out your skin tone and give you a flawless base. It's oil free, it's not supposed to clog your pores, it's non, what's the word, non comedogenic. So um, it's supposed to be good for your skin and give you some skincare benefits. It doesn't really say what, it just says skincare benefits on the box. Um, it says there's mineral perlite plus mineral pigments. Also it has SPF 20. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm interested to see how it controls shine. So here's the packaging. It's pretty similar to the old one. This has the little blue combination to oily thing on there. So the box, the way it's different is it has this all day shine control and then there's blue writing. The original formula is just the black and the white. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So I'm just gonna put it straight on the brush and do it that way. Wow, it's quite liquidy. It's like sinking into my brush. The smell is really strong. And it's quite a dewy finish to be for oily skin off the bat, just looking at it. The color is a little bit dark, it's a little bit orangey, but I think I can make it work. The coverage is really nice. Um, I have like some redness and stuff right there and it covered it up with a light application. I'm only starting out with a little bit because I want to see how well this foundation or BB cream covers. So here's the side with one layer and then I accidentally went over here but you can see like the coverage is really really good because like I did have some breakouts and pretty much covered it up. The color is a little bit dark but we'll fix it. one thin layer. I'm going to apply just a little bit more like right here to see how the coverage, to see how buildable it is. I'd say it's a little bit buildable. It definitely covered up my spot a little bit more. I feel like it oxidizes a little bit when you put it on the skin because it almost looks a little bit oranger as I put it on. So I'm going to let it set a little bit and then I'm going to apply my concealer and stuff. But looking at it, I feel like it kind of emphasizes pores a little bit because my pores are larger around this area and I feel like it kind of emphasized it a little bit, which usually I don't have a problem with it at all. Um, the finish looks nice. It looks very healthy. Um, I'm just worried because if you're oily, I'm wondering if this will make you more oily. Um, but it's geared towards oily skin, so I'm thinking that won't be a problem. But I definitely see my pores around here looking a little bit larger, which is not cute. Um, I'm going to finish my makeup and then I will be right back. So I went ahead and finished my makeup. I just added some blush, bronzer, highlight, and concealer under my eyes. I'm really impressed with how it set. I told you as I was doing it, you know, my pores looked a little bit bigger right here. It looks kind of shiny, a little bit orange, and I was kind of worried. But as it set, the color looks fine. It doesn't bother me now. Where my pores looked bigger, they look fine. And I didn't set this with a powder because I want to see how well it controls oil on my face. Um, I used Sin Blush from NARS, it's kind of a cooler tone, to combat kind of the warmness, but I mean the color looks 
awesome to me. In daylight, it also looked a lot better. You couldn't really tell like orange light or there wasn't really much difference. So I think the color looks fine now. I've got some errands to run. I'm gonna go to the gym. So like I said, I didn't set it with a powder. We're gonna see how it holds up. Right now it's 3 p.m. I will come back in a few hours and let you know how it's holding up. Hey guys, so right now it is 5.16. Don't wanna get the glare. So it's been about two and a half hours since I applied the BB cream. I went to the gym, just got back, got my smoothie on, and I did sweat. I wasn't like profusely sweating. I didn't like wipe my face, but I was sweating. So I was like trying to fan it off to give the BB cream a fair shot. So let's go ahead and check out and see how it looks. So it looks really, really good still. I'm still matte, I'm not oily. It does have, like I said, it's not a flat finish, so it does have a little bit of a sheen to the skin, like a little bit of a glow, but it's definitely not oily at all. My blush is still very vivid. See, it does. I feel like it does look a little bit shiny in the middle of my forehead, but it's not oil at all. Like, it's not oily, it's just my makeup. So, um, still impressed. I think it looks great. It didn't separate. I was afraid, you know, sweating it might kind of separate, but still looks good. So I will check back at the end of the night, but so far, so good. Hey guys, so it's now the end of the night. I am ready to go to bed. It is 10.52, so like 11 p.m. almost. I've had it on for about eight hours, so let's see how it held up. So as far as coverage, I think it held up really good. My blush is still very much intact. The redness around my nose still looks pretty good. I can see like one little red spot here. Um, the blemishes on my cheek are still pretty much covered. The only thing I would say is that I do look quite shiny. I don't know how much the camera is picking up the shine because looking in the viewfinder, I feel like I look super, super oily. But it does look pretty shiny. It could also be the light like right in the center of my face. So I'm going to take a tissue to blot and see if that helps. But I haven't blotted, I haven't done anything. I worked out today, I've been editing, so let's see if this helps at all. Now it looks a little bit better that I blotted it. So if I would set this with a powder, I think I probably wouldn't have to worry about it. Overall, I'm really impressed with the product. I can't wait to try it out some more. I feel like it's perfect for every day because it feels very light on the face. You don't really feel it, but it gives you like a full coverage foundation look to the skin. One thing I would have to knock off points for sure is the color range. I know it's drugstore, but Garnier, come on. We want to try them. People want to try your products. So I think at my Walgreens, I saw a light medium, the medium deep, and I think there was a deep. There might also be a light, I'm not sure. But on a positive note, I think this would be great for all skin types. I know it says for combination to oily skin, I think dry skin could use this. It's very moisturizing. The formula is very liquid and it's not like a matte powdery finish. It didn't dry to a powder, it just sunk right into the skin and it controlled the oil pretty well until about the six hour mark and then like I said, I blotted when I got on here. So I definitely think any skin type could try this. If you're super oily, I would try setting it with a powder, using a blotting sheet, or using a mattifying primer before. I'm excited to try this with a mattifying primer to see how well it holds up. You could also use like D-Slick, like a makeup setting spray, and I think that it would be fine because on its own, without a primer, I mean, I'm really impressed. I think it looks great. So I hope this review helps you out. Thumbs up if you guys want more first impression videos. Let me know what you want to see next, and thank you for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.